Yeah, it just doesn't seem right. We're in here and everyone on Wall Street is free as a bird. Joe, now is not the time for your bland political musings. This sucks. The courts are closed for Thanksgiving, which means we can't even go before a judge till Monday. That's five whole days here. What the hell are we gonna do? Well, if we're Congress, we'll do nothing. Yeah, all right, that one was sharp. Good job, Joe. And you know, maybe, maybe prison won't be so bad. Guys, I think we're in trouble here. Come on, we're gonna be fine. Joe, you should be more terrified than any of us. What if someone figures out you're a cop? It's not gonna happen. I spent years undercover. I'm a master of disguise. What? You're in a wheelchair. You can't disguise yourself as anything. Is that so, Dad? Chris? But that's impossible. I've seen Chris standing up many times. Have you? Hey, Chris, I got two tickets for the Sucks. You wanna go? You got it, Dad. Yep, Charlie horse. Oh, another Charlie horse, huh? Well, you sit tight, Chris. I can just take Joe's brother-in-law, Wendell. Christopher? It's just Chris. I think you know that. The conjugal visit room is being used. So, does your foot reach? Peter, enough. You ruined Thanksgiving. I have to host 20 people by myself. You smoke now? Yeah, I have a husband in prison. That's who smokes, genius. Stewie, why do you look like 1976 Elton John? I'm trying to keep a low profile. You know that old sitcom premise where the kid has two dates to the prom? Well, I, um, I may sort of, kind of be engaged to four prisoners. You're what? Stewie, that's crazy. Oh, relax, Brian. I'm just humoring them. It's not serious. Stewie, don't forget we're meeting DJs tomorrow. Sure thing, Clint. How did you even meet these guys? Easily. They were my pen pals. You have prison pen pals? Yes, a lot of people write prisoners. Even Hollywood celebrity Cal Penn. Cal Penn writes a prisoner? Yeah, Ken lives in California. You've never heard of Cal Penn's pen pal Ken in the Cal Penn? How could I possibly have heard of Cal Penn's pen pal Ken in the Cal Penn? God, every crevice of this prison is terrifying. That's eh, not so bad. I made one eye contact with Bill Cosby. Well, well, well. Three wells is never a good sign. I think you guys have our lunches. Called it. Uh, sorry, sir. We don't want any trouble. Yeah, we'll sit somewhere else. Come on, guys. Let's avoid confrontation. And whatever happens, let's make sure we're not goaded into fights by simple playground taunts. Damn. I was hoping for chicken. Nobody calls me chicken. Peter, no! Ah, damn it, I lost a front tooth. Well, hopefully in the prison yearbook I'll just look like a cute kindergartner. Mad Dog, next time I'm asking for the quote-unquote top bunk. LOL. Love, Pete. I'm starving. We haven't eaten since we got here. That's because other prisoners keep taking our meals. And God knows what else they're gonna do to us. We have three more days here, and we're not gonna survive three more minutes. That's because you don't have a gang to protect you. A gang? Yeah, when you're in a gang, no one will mess with you. That's why everyone joins one. I used to be in a gang. It was called the Republican Party. Our friend is very political. So how do we get into one of these gangs? Actually, you guys showed up at the perfect time. Tomorrow's the start of prison rush week. Get in one, and you're home free. Getting in a gang is gonna be harder than I thought. Speak for yourself, Peter. What gang is this? We're the not cops. We're all definitely not cops. So you think firemen are cool? Firemen cook spaghetti. And I think y'all know who I joined. Are you now Kareem Abdul Jablivland? I am Kareem Abdul Jablivland. Hey, you know Muslims can't drink alcohol, right? I am Cleveland Hurricane Carter. Well, Quagmire, I guess it's just you and me now. Sorry, Peter. I'm in MS-13. What? How? It was easy. I said I was loco. Loco. Si. Muy loco. Well, I can be loco. I have a teardrop tattoo on my cheek. Where? I don't see it. N not that cheek. Peter, that's an unwiped watermelon seed. Loco? No. No loco. Now, a woman who'll kiss on the very first day is usually a hussy. And a woman who'll kiss on the second time out is anything but fussy. But a woman who'll wait till the third time around, head in the clouds, feet on the ground. She's the girl he's glad he's found. She's his ship poopy, ship poopy, ship poopy, ship poopy. The girl who's hard to get. 
She poopy, she poopy, she poopy. But you can win her yet. Walk her once just to raise the curtain.